Hello everyone, this is Kartik Silvaraj and in this video 9 of Mule ESP tutorials we will be seeing about VM. So the agenda will be we will have an overview about VM and we will see a demo to know how VM works. So before going into the demo I will like to uh, tell you what VM is all about. So VMs are nothing but the in-memory queues that are available in a Mule JVM. Okay. So like uh, every node it has its own pro and cons okay so first i'll list out the pros okay so when there are so many queuing softwares uh, in market i mean you have web spear mq you have active mq you have rabbit mq but in case your infrastructure is having a, a restriction that you should not be using a queuing software or you don't have the capability to set up MQ due to some reasons then and you need to have your uh, transfer in a asynchronous mode then using VM would be a good choice okay mainly using uh, asynchronous kind of transfers okay so next thing is uh, compared to your active MQ or other queuing softwares the performance that M VM uses high so this is an another advantages of uh, using vm so at the same time it has its own disadvantages as well so um, so it takes some memory from the system so uh, it isn't good that if you are going to have a flow and the transport is going to be in a, a transport or that traffic is going to be huge then you can't be creating multiple queues so that's not good so you had so this will cause extended memory usage so that is a disadvantage of you using vm and another one thing is uh, uh, you have got something called vm file percent persistency so in case of uh, standard queuing softwares like uh, uh, web sphere mq or uh, active mq you have a uh, the capability to retrieve the message or the messages are persistent okay even in vm you can have it as persistent but uh, it doesn't work on uh, some scenarios like clustering and in uh, and, uh, uh, in different scenarios so that's not uh, a standard way of using vm so if you want to have your uh, messages persistent better to go with some standard queuing softwares rather than using VM okay now we can go straight away to the demo okay so uh, I have created a flow called VM demo so it's a simple flow so first I have a HTTP connector so connector and it is running on 8088 okay and next we have a and you can see that the URL is slash test so that is the URL that we will be hitting and we have set a payload so the payload is set as the message is in VMQ okay next we have a logger which will actually log the payload message next we have a VM outbound endpoint so this is called as an outbound endpoint okay so you have to define a queue path so I have named it as VMQ okay so you have two options one way and uh, request response I will explain about this later okay and uh, okay so now I have another flow the same application okay so in that I the input is a VM so here it is called uh, 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 inbound endpoint okay so it has it it has the same queue path so this is how it identifies that it should be routed to over here okay so it should be the same queue path which are provided in the outbound endpoint and then it is routed to a file node so in this folder it will write a file output.txt and it will write the message uh, this message is in VMQ. Okay, so now I will uh, go to that file path. So 
delete this so this is my uh, output folder which is in desktop desktop output okay so now uh, so if you can see here I could have had this as one way and here as one way too I will shortly explain you about this okay. so now I will deploy the application so to test this flow I will be using uh, our Postman plugin yes it's deployed okay. now uh, you can use any method because I haven't defined in, uh, any specific method that needs to be used so let us use get send and you get the response the message is in VMQ go to mule console okay. so you can see the logger output as the message is in VMQ okay now we can go to the folder open this file you see the messages in VMQ so now we have got the message so this is how it works so the message was dropped into this VMQ and it was fetched from this VMQ and it has been processed to this file location okay. now suppose if we had uh, used one way over here okay so you have an outbound endpoint but uh, if you don't have the corresponding in inbound endpoint, let's see what happens. So I'll delete this flow. Okay. So in this VM, if you see the exchange pattern is one way. Now uh, we can deploy this flow. Now it's ready. Now again I will use some other post, post method yeah you got the response okay go to the console and you can see that uh, you do, didn't get any error in this actually so even if the corresponding inbound endpoint wasn't available there was no error okay. so suppose if I had this VM transformer as a request response, let's see what happens. Okay. So let's deploy it. Now it is in request response. And I post it. You will see that that you will be getting an error. So in request response, if the corresponding inbound endpoint is not available you will be getting an error so because it will uh, the outbound endpoint will try to directly post the message into the inbound endpoint okay so because of the non availability or unavailability of the inbound endpoint we get an error over here so this is the difference between the exchange patterns of one way and the request response so that's all for this video so we'll be seeing about some other node in my next video. And thanks for watching this.